Good afternoon, everybody. So excited. It's been so long since we talked to you about anything in the world because everything's been put on hold this year, 2020. But we finally have something to talk about. It is Wonder Woman, a.k.a. WW84, a.k.a. Wonder Woman 1984. That's what we're talking about today on a Top Pop featuring Fat Man Little Boy. My name is Steven. I'm Juan. And it was, it was shit, right? Yeah. Complete and total hot garbage. The worst DC movie. Worse than Green Lantern. It's the wor I prefer Green Lantern. Really? Really? I'm because at least with Green Lantern, the effects didn't seem like fucking cheesy. The, uh, God, so many people... I, I've had people c come in the store, obviously, talk about how the CGI is horrible. The CGI is the um, worst. And, and just like... like. And you know, you want to know what's crazy? We, we had another example of not the best CGI recently. Which was? The Mandalorian. Oh, with Luke? Which we should have done a review anyways of that episode, because that episode was... We could have done the whole season. Yeah, yeah. but we yeah. had that... The, the CGI with Luke wasn't perfect. No, it looked like a video game. Sure, but yeah. the story was so good, it was so well-written, it was such a payoff that you didn't even care. Like, you were still emotionally invested, Yeah. even though it didn't look the best. Yes, agreed, agreed. So, it's not about, like, Wonder Woman, we expect... A superhero to look real mm -hmm. right but the movie everything else was such shit that you can't just overlook even the bad special effects i mean let's uh, casting right at the top <coughs> gal gadon how did, well she did fine but it looked like she was disinterested uh yes i gave you we, we talked a little bit about it. i gave you the example when ben affleck was in batman superman he was in it. He was my favorite yeah. Batman ever. Best, yeah. But in Justice League, he looked like he didn't want to be there. No, no. He didn't. He, like, gained weight and was just like... Yeah, he ended like, up in Alcoholics that. Anonymous. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, it, but she looked fabulous in the white dress. She looked great. Like, like the leg just kept going for days. It was... It was an unstoppable leg. That look was probably my favorite look since Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarface in the green dress. Well, when she comes on the elevator, elevator in the, the green elevator. dress, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is comparable. No, she she looked she looked amazing. Uh, but yeah, you know what it is like. The movie started with like all this excitement at on Thermoscara with with young Diana Prince. That was a great. Uh, you know, I liked that a lot though. Um, and it was good, and th and then you know then the mall scene, which was horrible. Right. Horrible. I felt like I was watching Commando, a remake of Commando. Yeah, it was bad. Like, like, fuck. Like, and because it's in 1984 and then they went to the mall right away, like, I was having flashbacks of Bumblebee when, like, every other song was an 80s one-hit wonder. And mm -hmm. how many 80s tropes and stereotypes can we throw into this scene? You know? But the 80s weren't like that, by the way. These movies, like, make it like that. The 80s weren't that cheesy. I thought I think the '80s was a great day. I mean, don't get me wrong; uh, consumption was at a high. Greed is good, you know. No, but from what I remember, the '80s there are a lot of tropes which are true, but yes. somehow Wonder Woman made them look cheesy, and the '80s weren't cheesy. Not as cheesy as Bumblebee. I think Bumblebee really <coughs> went, like took it to the next level. But well, Stranger Things is pretty bad too. But but this will be the, the mall scene was horrible. Like she's fighting a bunch of like jewelry store robbers, right? And like. Like it, it was just like I I, I and well, it, what, what, along with the oh. casting. What do you think of Kristen Wiig? Kristen Wiig was great. I she, think she I think tried Cheeto, really hard. I think Cheeto is probably spoilers, guys. Uh, the best part of of the movie. Yeah. You know, granted, I'll say this: her her going from like nerdy like gemologist to uh, sexy. I don't think Kristen Wiig is super sexy, so I just don't get that. Like, oh, I do. Really? Yeah. I didn't get that. I didn't. I didn't get that. I think vibe she's at beautiful, all. man. And like, you know, I was talking to my sister about it, and she's like, "So what? She takes off her skirt and then lowers her fucking her shirt down and exposes her leggings, and all of a sudden she transforms to an attractive no, woman no, no, that, she... that the other scientists all of a sudden notice. No, it was because she made the wish. I I understand yeah. that. I understand. It that. wasn't because of what she was wearing. 
I understand it. Whatever. But either way... Uh, but I guess it was just a way that the director, Patty Jenkins, tried to visualize what was happening. Yeah, but Kristen Wiig, a fabulous job. What they should have done is left her in her dopey outfit after she made that wish. Yeah. And then they would have still been fawning over her. Yeah. Even though she was wearing the same thing, would have probably shown that better. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you wouldn't have that confusion. Well, oh, the she reason just... she changed because she was wearing the same clothes from the no, previous day. I, I, yeah. Right, but you could have made it so she still would have looked dopey. And yeah. then people would have fawned over her, and it would have made the point better than, oh, she has leggings, she's hot. I agree. I agree. The the other thing that I... And the bad guy? Diego, was, is Diego Luna, right? I mean, Pascal or... Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. The Mandalorian. Right. Awful. Horrible. Awful. Wish! I want you to wish! Keep wishing! No. Yeah. Keep wishing! Wish, 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 wish! It made no wish. sense. wish, wish. Wish. And it had that awful Batman Superman moment at the end where he realized he's like, my son, and then everything goes away. Pedro Pascal was probably the worst part of the movie. I hated it. Some people actually thought that he tried to act his heart out. I'm like, no, it was bad. Really bad. And and, and his motives were bad. It's like I just want I want oil and then and then all of a sudden I want to be the president. Then I want to be the, the the leader of the world and and, and then I don't want to die. And the thing was is that they hinted they hinted at this ancient artifact throughout history, this crystal. Oh my God, you sold all those Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. this ancient crystal, like like brought on by by this ancient god, like the ancient fucking gods. Uh -huh. And and then they're like, where did it come from? And they they trace it back and they do all this shit like. You that. know what's fucked up about that crystal, right? What? That crystal, which they didn't even do, they tied it into that god. Yeah. Right. Like, that crystal actually, in comics, ties into someone. Does it really? The Sandman. Oh, I didn't know that. But obviously, they're not going with that. Why? Well, Aren't they developing a Sandman movie? That would have been good. They're developing a Sandman movie. This was a way, but they, try, they, they tied it into a god that it has nothing to do with it. This has to do with the Sandman universe. Yeah, that so, would have been good. Obviously, I didn't know that. I just looked it up. That would have been really good. So, they fucked up even on that. They did. Uh, but the thing was is that like they hinted at another god so mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be like the first movie where like you know in the first movie she ended up fighting the god of war Ares right yeah and this one she would fight another god because who can match her toe to toe really right in, especially in the 80s when other superheroes and villains really don't exist yet in the DC universe and we didn't get it like like they hinted at this god and then we never heard about it again mm -hmm. instead Pedro Pascal was the big deal that and 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 so the big the big the way to beat him is to communicate to the whole world and tell the whole world to renounce your fucking wish. Right, which which is crazy. There's people that want to see the world destroyed, anyways. There's at least one person that would've been like, "No, fucking, I want to see it burn." Yeah. You know, there's some like, asshole like out your there. Brother. <laughs> there's some asshole <laughs> no, out there that'd be like, "You know what? I don't <laughs> take back my wish. Fuck him." It's just. Uh, it's, I mean, look, listen, the, oh, I get it. The overall theme of the movie was true. You know, you know, the, the movie opened with that scene and Diana lied and it was about you have to be truth and blah, blah, blah. And at the end, it, you know, it went, came full circle and it was like truth. You know what else didn't fit at all, speaking of that into the movie? What? Steve Trevor. We haven't even talked about Steve Trevor, yeah. Well, it's Steve Trevor, look, it was her wish. Her wish was to but have then, Steve but, back. Right, but he was a hindrance to the movie. It's like almost they were forcing him to be relevant when he was not relevant in it he's fighting all these superpower people he's just a regular guy he doesn't belong yeah and by them trying to force it it was terrible like every scene he was in like it was just bad like we, how how are we going to let this guy have part of the action it was bad i hated steve trevor the way they brought him back even though it was a wish was horrible it was all bad but it wasn't even him. He, like, took over someone's body, like Some, a body yeah. snatcher. Yeah, yeah. Like, which made no sense to me either. It's like, well, is that, re like... It well, that's the whole point of the, the monkey's paw that they kept mentioning. The idea of the monkey's paw is that you get your wish, but you don't know how it's going to turn out. So she gets Steve Trevor. He's just in another man's body. Well, yeah, but you and, but you you lose your most prized possession, they said. Which for, for Wonder Woman was her power. For Cheetah was her, I guess, niceness. I don't, I don't and humbleness. I don't, I don't, that's not a good power. Because that's what that, that's what they said. That's what Diana said. She goes. She goes. Barbara. Speaking, yeah. No. You know, used to be wholesome and 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 caring, and now you've lost all that. Yeah, that's stupid. And she's like, yeah, but look what everything I gained. Fuck off. I don't want to go back to that shit. And she's one hundred percent right. <laughs> Capitalism. That was it's stupid. Um. It. 
it was just it was a big piece of dog shit. Everybody's hating on it. Uh, I the the number one problem here is not Pedro Pascal. It's not Steve Trevor. It's fucking Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins is the number one problem here, and she got praised after Wonder Woman one. Like holy shit! And if you if you remember, James Cameron actually came out and commented. And he's like, "It's an all right movie. It's yeah. not the best, but it's okay." And James Cameron was absolutely one hundred and fifty percent correct because Wonder Woman one is good, but it's all right. Well, give them. You have to give people perspective that don't figure it out on their own. There's a reason why James Cameron commenting on Wonder Woman is important, right? Because he is the he's he's arguably the king of female Actions. powerful women, right? In and movies, not I, just not just just in general, like Ellen Ripley from Aliens, which credit to Ridley Scott, you mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, Sarah Connor. From yeah. the Terminator franchise, uh, the girl, the girl from Avatar, right? Who's obviously a huge strong lead, right? You know? So uh, look, Jamie Lee Curtis, so who lies, this and might, Tia Leone. This might be a shock to woke ass people who were born in the two thousands after the nineteen nineties and eighties, but directors back then, even though they were men, were creating bad ass women and writers, yeah. And writers were doing like El to this day. There's no one that's been as badass as Sigourney Weaver in Alien. None. Maybe Sarah Connor comes close in T two. Yeah, yeah, she was great. Sarah Connor comes close, and even in the last Terminator, she was one of the only enjoyable parts of that fucking yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like, so you got Sarah Connor, like you said, uh, Ellen Ripley. Yeah. So so that's why I think James Cameron commenting on Wonder Woman was important because yeah. everyone's like, oh, Patty Jenkins did a powerful woman lead, correct. Be like no 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 like James Cameron did that like fifty years ago. Yeah, to be fair too, if we want to be relevant to current current stuff, uh, Arya Stark, Daenerys Targaryen, these are all powerful women. Oh, Cersei. Cersei was a fucking badass. You know, and and that's that's written by George R. R. Martin. The right. screenplays and uh, I mean the, the the scripts were written by guys too. I guess the overall thing is you don't need to be a woman to write a woman any more than you need to be a man to write a man. You know, even even or or anything like. Anybody can write anything if they're talented. So, so without getting into political debate, that's why yeah. I think Patty Jenkins. Uh, I thought the first Wonder Woman, the first two thirds of the movie was great. Great, great. Th the, the the third movie just. But she didn't have a writing credit on eighty four, does she? He's... Hi. This is dead air. Oh, but I think Steve can edit shit out, so it doesn't matter. They don't make any comic books for The Mandalorian. Not yet. We can see The Mandalorian. There, yeah, there's, 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 not, there's Star Wars books, but nothing for The Mandalorian. There's Star Wars books, but nothing for The Mandalorian. No, not yet. They haven't made anything yet. I, I don't know. That's up to Marvel if they want to do that or not. They haven't announced anything. Yes, there's 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 Star Wars. There's Darth Vader. There's there's one for bounty hunters and those. Listen, stuff like guys. That. But but let's talk a minute about John Favreau. There's nothing. Um. And There's what John for, Favreau uh, has done for for, uh, Mandalorian. for Disney, you guys got to remember. I know that Kevin Feige gets all this credit for for Marvel, but you got to remember that Iron Man was John Favreau who did that first yeah. Iron Man and jump started the whole universe for Marvel. And then John Favreau came on. If you guys remember with Star Wars, when. Uh, after Solo, which I thought was was a good movie, and people like shit on it for for no good reason. After Solo, uh, they came out and to justify you know uh, what happened with the trilogy, saying that uh, people were sick, that there was oversaturation in the market of Star Wars because they were planning to release a movie a year, and that was too much. Then they give John Favreau the Mandalorian, and look, this is fucking insane. Every question we get. Every other question is about the Mandalorian. How fucking nutty is this? It was, it's well deserved the praise, by the way. I'm just saying, John Favreau is the shit. Patty Jenkins is supposed to direct a movie now, and I'm a little, uh, I'm a little worried about it. I'm a little worried about it. 
because uh, I don't know. I don't know how much I don't know how much say people get, but I thought that that she was uh, pretty heavily involved in all the decisions around Wonder Woman eighty four. So if they hopefully they don't give her that kind of leeway for the for what she doing Rogue Squadron, I think. So that's all I had to, dude. I I can't. What am I gonna talk about? I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Like I was in quarantine, so my Christmas was like whatever. My son did. I, I got him the Xbox, the the Xbox, uh, the Series X. I was able to get it for him, uh, so that's good. He, my friend Randall helped me out a lot with that. Thank you, Randall. Uh, so he was really really happy, and you know my daughter. I just basically let her go into Amazon and buy a certain amount of stuff. So she bought a ton of stuff off Amazon. She was happy too. Oh, Hello, how you doing? Well, good, thank you. And that's all I have to say. Oh, the Dolphins game was bonkers this weekend. A good game. That uh, that fourth quarter for the Dolphins was nuts. He, he wanted to be my friend. He just kept me. He was like, "Hey, what'd you think about this?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what'd you do now, man? Anyways, uh, so Patty Jenkins, is that where we were? Spoilers. Well, I mean, we're. Do I mean, we spoiled it. All right, it's over no, now. No, there's people here that may not. You should tell them that we're doing spoilers. Yeah, we're talking about Wonder Woman, guys. It was horrible. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Hello. She. They. They announced. The we think it is. We think what? If someone actually liked it, good for you. It's not a. We're not, you know, criticizing a person if they like it. We just personally. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? We personally uh, hated it. No, no, I, I'm criticized. It's horrible. It's not good. No. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry, it's not a good movie. Like, like it's 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 Subjective. it's in the it's in the bottom three for sure with Green Lantern and Captain Marvel. Fair. I I I, I yeah, but I don't put Green Lantern at the bottom. <laughs> you put this one. This Captain Captain Marvel horse. <laughs> you really have it, a it would be you, the, really, you have a distaste for Captain Marvel. I hated that movie. This yeah, uh, I hated it too. Captain right? Marvel and uh, probably Gar Spider Man three. Spider-Man three was bad. Yeah. 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 E either way, this is in that rung. This is bottom. Well, bottom. Okay. Bottom. So either way, uh, Warner Bros. announced. Patty Jenkins returning for Wonder Woman 3. Apparently, they did 27 or 16, 17 million U.S., 80-something million worldwide. Not And plus the HBO Max. Plus was, the HBO Max. I mean, we talked about... These that. people had to watch that movie and be like, look, they, like I told you, this is shit. Yeah, I got and ripped they, off. And they put <laughs> it on HBO Max to buy some goodwill. And let me tell you, best decision they made. Because yeah. everyone's been talking about this being on HBO Max for Christmas for the past two months. Yes. And the reviews that it's getting, Horrible. it would have been it, this movie would have been a failure if it had come out in the theaters, right? Yeah. yeah. But that they did on HBO Max, they turned it into a promotional win. Yes. So smart move. Yes, I agree. But now I understand why they did it, though. But Patty Patty Jenkins is not the Messiah of Wonder Woman, or or just it's. She's got writing credit on it, including di directing credit. Jeff Johns has the co-writing uh, credit. I just can't believe that Jeff Johns, if you guys don't know, Jeff Johns is an amazing comic book writer, also responsible for a lot of the DC TV shows like Titans or, and other stuff like that. Jeff Johns had nothing to do with that movie. Like, like They just stuck his name on there because, um, so I'm also watching Titans finally. Yes. And Jeff Johns also wrote Titans. Yes. What a coherent fucking story. Yes. So good. Sure. Not only that, but like I the, the episode that finally blew me away, believe it or not, was the Donna Troy episode. Really? And I'll tell you why. Which is Wonder Woman baby. Right, one, right. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman's daughter, right? Or niece or something like that. Whatever. Yeah. So the reason it blew me away is it starts with them at uh, Wayne Manor. Mm -hmm. And it's little Robin and little uh, Donna Troy. Yeah. And, Ro and he comes in... Uh, Robin comes in and he's talking about this fight that I guess they just had with a Joker and how fucked up he is over it because yeah. Joker killed a lot of people. Yeah. And she's like, what is Batman saying? He's like, he's like, you know, Joker kills because he can. And they were talking about Joker and how Diana and all this. And it kind of just like expanded that world in a natural, really cool way. And then when he goes back up to meet with Donna Troy, 
it, and, and you know Hawk and Dove or wherever they are it like really expands that universe yeah right and it's really well written it's getting to a point so I was really impressed with that episode because it let you know that the universe was bigger somehow 80 fucking movies later Warner Brothers still hasn't figured it out for the DCU within the movies Whereas Jeff Johns, who's actually on Titans, did it in eight episodes. I really think there are... In eight episodes, he created a world. They they had the Doom Patrol in episode two. Like, yeah. they created a little universe yes. in eight episodes, Steve. Yes. I, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. I really think there's a lot of politics involved. Yeah. Uh, I really think there's a lot of... Uh, and and not, like a lot, of, a lot of social issues involved. And, and look, there shouldn't be, because I'll tell you what, if... Every like, what's your favorite Marvel movie? What's the best Marvel movie? Captain America, Civil I, War, Iron Man, uh, or Iron Man's your favorite one? No, so, uh, uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, right? Winter Soldier, and then Iron Man. If you had, if every woman director put out every movie was like Winter Soldier, and men could never direct again, no man ever, I'd be fine with it. Fine, because all all I care about is the quality of the stuff that I'm getting. Listen, I, there are listen. Let's be fair. We all love The Mandalorian. Bryce Dallas Howard directed some of those episodes. There's another girl who's got, who's got like, uh, anime fame behind her or something like that who, who directed those episodes. They're amazing. Yeah, it's, it's not about the gender with Patty Jenkins. It's just... And, and then the it's problem just, is... It's just she's not that great. She's getting a lot of control, and it worries me. I was telling them while you were talking to your new best friend <laughs> um, that she's going to be on... She's in charge of Rogue Squadron, right? The movie? She's in charge of Rogue Squadron. Now I'm terrified because yeah. that's all that's all like special effects. Yeah. Not to mention, it's like... What, so what's... At the end, what's her problem with Wonder Woman? The setting, right? I mean, the, I, I'm, the fine story, with, I'm fine the with the villain. setting. I'm, I, I don't like the exploitation of the setting no. for for stereotypical value. You know? And the villain was... The villain was horrible. Max Lord was horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 uh, and just Steve Trevor. Uh, the, the story. It's really the story. The story was bad. That's the problem with a lot of these movies that aren't good. It's not that. It's look. We we shit on Captain Marvel all the time. And Brie Larson. I think we can all agree is pain in the ass in real life. But you know, she played a great Captain Marvel. You can't argue Sam Jackson and Nick Fury, but the story was just... Not. The story was trash for Captain Marvel. So I same, was the one, guys. Same thing with Wonder Woman. The scrolls were garbage. The scrolls were garbage, you know? So Wonder Woman, it's, it's the story. The story's bad. Yeah. You know? Justice League was not a good movie because the story was bad. Yeah. You know? it had it, Like, they had the tools. They're just writing it very poorly. Yeah, that movie would have never fly. And the example that I give with why Winter Soldier is the best, is the best Marvel movie... Um, if not top five for sure, is because if you take out the superpowers out of it, it's still an awesome fucking movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If if it wasn't Wonder Woman, if it was a regular thing about someone has the power to wish, yeah. this would be a shit fucking movie. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, it's, it, again. And it's two and a half hours fucking long. Way too long. Yeah. You could have cut that mall scene down for sure. Uh, the, 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 the whole scene in Egypt yeah was way too long you uh, know the the it's so ra there's so many random things yeah and then like and then they're in the white house all of a sudden yeah and then there's riots at one time and there's not and the riots are not like fires and fucked up shit it's like overturned hot dog carts <laughs> right and yeah. oh there's cows in in, in yeah there's in, cows in, in watergate plaza yeah he's like i can't leave these two cows why not <laughs> they're just two cows it's so bad he's like, i wish for a farm he got two cows so, with all that said, here's the scary thing. Patty Jenkins coming back for Wonder Woman 3. Bad move. And what now? Wonder Woman can fly, right? Oh, we forgot to say that. That's the... that's. I hate that. Is that a thing now, though? No, it's not. She never could fly. Well, I haven't read DC I, comics for like listen, a year. I've been reading. Wonder Woman does not fly. Never could fly. She doesn't fly. And like, what does she lasso on to? No, she's like Spider Man too. Clouds? Like, like sometimes her sometimes her lasso is like six feet. Sometimes it's sixty feet. <laughs> but what's she even grabbing onto? Exactly. Other than lightning, somehow. Yeah, because you know light is tangible. So bad. Dude. It's really bad. I can't believe there's people that liked it, man. You know what it is? It's diehard Wonder Woman. Did Damien like it? He probably hasn't seen it yet. I bet I'll put money on it. He didn't, though. He won't. He can't. He can't. 
Listen, uh, having Linda Carter in there was a nice, uh, nice little cameo. It was cute but unnecessary. You know what I would have preferred? What? Like when he goes out to the desert, or he goes out to make a deal with someone. You know, Black Adam. Oh, would have been great. And it could have been because you know this is 1984. It could have been the start of Black Adam, and yeah. Black Adam, who's also magic, would have been like, I know what the fuck you're doing, and yeah. then they continue on along in their merry yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. But they wasted their time on something that had no point. Yeah. No point. Wish. Wish. Yeah. He's like, oh. Okay. You know what, too? Like, like, uh, is, it, is it me or is Max Lord's kid, like, not his kid? <laughs> like, like, the connection there is just way too, like. <laughs> I didn't explain it, but he could have been adopted. Bad casting. And he clearly didn't give a fuck about his kid either because, like, like remember it was, like, his weekend? He's like, oh, again? And then all of a sudden, he... You know it would have been great if they would have named the kid Grogu instead of <laughs> Alistair? Yeah. Ugh. Just not, just not a good... Listen, usually, guys, when these movies come out, I say, go support them. The more we support them, the more we get them. Don't support this movie. Don't support this movie. Because movie... you're going to perpetuate bad directing. Yeah, and, and you're, gonna, you're going to... You're going to end... I, we need to know how much power she had, though, because it wasn't just the editing... Not just the story was bad, which she has writing credit, so that's on her. But the editing was bad. The cutaways, it was jarring. Horrible. Like, the movie didn't flow together. It was horrible. The, you know, like, there's so much about that movie that it was, was bad. The horrible. score was good. Yeah. Has I to... still I still love that Wonder Woman theme. Which wasn't used a lot. No, it was used, like, once. Yeah. The running was terrible. Ugh. Like, uh, hashtag fire Patty Jenkins. We should start that. I don't know. They're gonna make the third one. Who knows how that's gonna? But you know what it and, is. And and she said she said we you know me and Jeff already have a great story that we're super excited about. Like 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 go fuck yourself, Patty Jenkins. You suck. No, I'm not no. a fan. I'm not a fan. And I I you know to be fair, I blamed Wonder Woman one on Zack Snyder because the end of it seems so close to Suicide Squad. There's people that are trying to blame this on Zack Snyder. He was a producer on it. That's why they're trying to blame him. Yeah, but. Even though he's a producer on it, like, the director has... Maybe he final, just wanted the money. The director has final say on the overall plot, direction, and the way it's edited, and the music, and the casting. Like, it like it falls on the director. It's just horrible. It's bad. I'm with you, man. We actually agree on this one. I, I It was a waste of time, man. You know, on, fa on Facebook time. today, I put up a little posting. It said, uh, wishing James Cameron wrote wrote and directed the awful Wonder Woman 84. And everyone's like, yes, 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 yes. Like, And like, if you like. guys, and before you criticize us, if you haven't seen Alien, Aliens. or you haven't seen T2, yeah. you need to go watch them. Or True Lies, or Avatar. True Lies is a good one. Or Titanic. That. Rose is a powerful female. No, no. You know? Well, I wouldn't go that far. You're going to say Rose wasn't a strong female? I don't think it mattered. Whatever. I think the most ballsy... <laughs> the most ballsy person on the chip was the band. <laughs> Shut up. Dude, they went down playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, right. Come on. Yeah, okay. All right. Anyways, look, look. Uh, uh, whatever. I mean, we're done. You get the point. Water 184, piece of hot garbage. If you want to waste two and a half hours of your life, watch it. But we, rec we recommend... If you're in, if you have the itch for DC, Doom, Doom, look the Doomsday Patrol. The Doom, Doom Patrol, Patrol was great. Titans and Titans actually really, really, really fucking good. Harley Quinn. I haven't seen it. It's great. And that's All that, right. guys. All right. Hey, guys. For top five feature, Fat Man, Boy, I'm Steven. One. Later.